now we do the uh, how do we add to 8 bit numbers the cla that we did before is for 4 bit numbers now how do we add 8 bit numbers so uh, how to do is two 4 bit clas so two 4 bit clas so this is one 4 bit cla cla1 this is another 4 bit cla called cla2 so what happens is once this c4 is coming out of the cla1 it is it ripples over to the second cla and the second cla does uh, this sum the adds these two numbers and gives it sum so uh, the sum from this cla and the sum from this cla together we'll get the final sum so let's see how it is done so uh, for the what we are doing is our second cla for second cla we find the values in terms of c4 c4 is a carry that is coming from here so in terms of c4 we'll uh, get out get the generate functions uh, and propagate functions we'll get uh, c5 in terms of c4 c6 in in terms of in terms of c4 and the z uh, c4 so in terms of c4 G, gis and pis so basically we uh, just like in the previous case we uh, did for uh, we did ci as a function of pi gi and c0 for second cla we uh, get the all the carries as a function of pis gis and c4 to get all these uh, c5 uh, to 8 it is very easy the only thing you have to do is c5 you have to it corresponds to c1 now you just add this uh, 4 to it c1 plus uh, 4 is c5 now g1 plus 4 is g5 right that g5 comes here no, no uh, g it's g0 g0 plus 4 is g4 right that g4 comes here p0 plus 4 is p4 that p4 comes here c0 plus 4 is c4 that 4 comes here if you find this example maybe 7 that is uh, 3 plus 4 that is c7 so for c7 we have g2 plus 4 that comes out as g6 that g6 is here then it is p2 p2 plus 4 p6 p6 uh, g5 so that p6 g5 is here then we have uh, p6 p5 g4 p6 p5 g4 now uh, p6 p5 p4 c4 p6 p5 p4 c4 just like that it's easy just uh, to each of the corresponding numbers you just add this 4 and write it here you will get this equations so what we have done here is we have uh, calculated every one of the carry using uh, as a function of pi's gi's and c4 now let's see what ha how many gate delays it takes to add these 8 bit number so what happens is the first 4 bits comes here the cla this cla works and just like it happens here, the same thing happens. And C4, as we know before, like here, uh, when does CA come, C4 comes out at third gate delay? The third gate delay, C4 comes out. That means one for this, one for all these AND gates, one for the OR gate, and C4 will come out then. So C4 comes out at third gate delay. In the fourth gate delay, what happens is, in the third gateway itself, this C4 is available for the second CLA. So second CLA is also something just the same as this. But this thing, the P0s will only change. This P0 will be P4, P5, P6, P7. Right. Uh, and uh, the Gs will also be uh, G4, G5, G6 and G7. That's the only difference. And instead of C0, wherever C0 is there, it will be C4 okay wherever here also wherever c0 is there it will be c4 so what happens is uh, the c0 uh, when this uh, c4 comes in um, all this and the xi's and yi's are already available because here itself we give all the inputs so all the generate and propagate functions are already available it's all available in the inputs so it was only waiting for the C4 that comes from here. So in the next fifth gate delay, what happens is in the fourth gate delay, what happens is all the AND gates activate. So all these AND gates get activated in the fourth gate delay. As soon as in the third gate delay, when the C4 comes here, 
In the fourth gate delay, all the AND gates get activated. In the fifth gate delay, the OR gates get activated. So, just like before the fifth gate delay, as every one of these inputs are available, this OR gates get activated and C8 will come out. Because it's the second CLA, C8 will come out. And what happens in the uh, sixth gate delay, SI will also come out. Because C4 is, C4 is available here. So this uh, S this will be S4, S5, S6 and S7. All these will be available by the sixth gate delay. So in six gate delays, we are able to find out the sum for an two eight bit numbers. So that's how the uh, eight bit uh, carry lookout addition occurs. Thank you.